What up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? And welcome back to episode three of our food series. Now, just a little recap. Episode one has gone now the, the 45 views and two likes. And last week's episode was at 40 views. No likes. Well, that's okay. <clears throat> um, appreciate the support. Um, over the past two videos that have been seen, I have now received some suggestions um, of going to the food place and as much as i would love to do that some of these places are just not in driving range for me um unfortunately what's around here for me burger king's around here but i don't like burger king um taco bell um duncan subway mcdonald's um not not much of a variety arby's i know that's a little dry but you know so unfortunately what I pick is just me explaining and talking about the place. So, you know, nearest Burger King, I said is there, but I don't like Burger King. Nearest Chipotle is two hours either going towards Vermont or going down towards Syracuse. Like in that general direction. Um well today's video has been a suggested place. Um so we got our first suggestion place. And I you know, it was actually it was given two. Um, but I figured this one would be a little bit better. Um, today's video is Chick-fil-A. Now, why Chick-fil-A? Well, I don't know, it just sounded right. The other idea wasn't really, I, I, you know, it's not like I can, I don't consider fast food and I don't go to as much. Um, girlfriend gave me the suggestion. So Chick-fil-A, um, you know, I really haven't had much of Chick-fil-A. Um, as y'all know, I'm a very picky eater. Um, I do enjoy the fries. They're Chick-fil-A and Poly Polynesian sauce. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, they're mac and cheese. So I've definitely taken all those and put it together. Um, a little iffy. I know how I like my chicken. Um, and I'm very picky on how it is made. Um, so just iffy on that part, but all in all, I have really no complaints except for the fact, you know, when, you, when do you want Chick-fil-A on a Sunday? They're closed. Um, I think the only thing I really have to say is if anyone remembers, this is now bringing it to the sports aspect. Um, the Atlanta Falcons built their new stadium and they put a Chick-fil-A in there. Well, Chick-fil-A isn't open on Sunday, and they play majority on Sunday. Yeah, they get their couple Monday night and Thursday night games, but they're mainly on a Sunday. And I haven't been to Atlanta, Georgia, to go to the stadium and see, like, well, can you just walk up and get Chick-fil-A or how it is? I I don't know. Um, personally, for Chick-fil-A, I don't mind it here and there. Um, the best thing I can remember is I always remember seeing a Chick-fil-A in North Carolina, and those that was you know family time. So just seeing it where we stay, because we kind of stayed in the same hotel year after year. Um, never had bad service, to at least my knowledge. But it was near Chick Fil A, and I always remember seeing that Chick Fil A, and it's just, hmm, what is it? Because I I don't remember. Again, I this whole food thing kind of started once I got my own job, and you know, I explored what there is and you know what different places so chick-fil-a for me i enjoy it um i know it's been a few months that i've had chick-fil-a um it's not something i would get every day but you know definitely a sign of chick-fil-a it's just more of better times um you know knowing that i'm being with family and i, I remember seeing that building um but i never i think i never understood it because i saw as a kid, it said Chick-fil-A, and there was a cow. Um, so, but now I kind of get it more, as they want people to eat more chicken and not beef. So that's why their mascot's a cow. Um, but at the time, as a kid, I didn't understand that. So, yeah, really no complaints about Chick-fil-A. Uh, you know, for me, it's just not something I would... If, if I was near, I would not get every day. I would definitely go a couple you know i would definitely go i can go a month or two without you know wanting it you know but definitely sometimes you know chick-fil-a fries a shake 
sometimes just different than going to like a Wendy's or McDonald's. It was just, it's something different that, you know, you still get what you're looking for and like chicken or fries or an appetizer or, or even a shake, you know, you know, McDonald's got shake and fries and chicken. Wendy's has got the same thing. Burger King's got the same thing. You know, it's just a different feel than going to one of those places like the the main stage. You're going to I definitely I probably would say a pricier one over what you normally do. So but for me, you know, I wouldn't get it every day. I would get it every so often, you know. If I'm in the area, I'm like, you know what? You know, we've had you know, you know, let's go get something that's not that we're used to having. Um, so Chick-fil-A would definitely be on that list. But other than that, that's all I really have to say for Chick-fil-A. Um, remember, if you guys want me to do a food video on your place, comment below. As I said, I am saving a few of the, my favorite places. Um, hopefully within the next few weeks and over episode three. So probably after episode six, we'll get into some of the better places because I do see a trend, you know, people enjoying as I've heard also. And I appreciate that. Um, but just know if it's a place that I know I like, like McDonald's, I would definitely go get the food. Um, I do have a plan for some of the nicer places I enjoy personally. So just keep up and, uh, hope you guys did enjoy it. And remember like subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. And remember, if you want me to do a place, drop in the comments, shoot me a text, answer my tweet. And I'll consider it for the next episode. So, have a good day.